Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior 3D artist. In this tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at TopoGun. We're going to look at uh, not how to create polygons, but we're going to look at how to create polygons with something called tubes. Uh, tubes was not in the first iteration of uh, TopoGun. It used to be if you wanted to create these horns, you'd have to do it the old fashioned way. Clicking in, just like this, say. And then, of course, building the polygons this way, hit bridge. And that was usually the simple way, an original way, to, to build those kind of polygons. Of course, now we can do something a lot easier, a lot quicker. Let me just go ahead and delete these for you. And there we go. By the way, uh, it's left mouse alt to rotate around middle mouse alt to pan and right mouse alt to zoom in and zoom out All right. so again uh, let's look at tubes now tubes is a really awesome way to make things just like this and it's what it says it is it's basically creating a tube so if we click the tube button okay generally in fact we, we it starts off with eight eight subdivisions in other words imagine a cylinder that has eight sides now, in fact, this particular horn actually should have 16 because of the divisions we have here. So we will go ahead and just ramp it up to 16. Now, it, it is a projection, so you want to try and get as clean a projection as possible. You don't want to try and project in this direction because it will, in fact, try to read the horn in the background. You don't want to try it from this direction because it's actually going to read some of the face and it's going to get very confused. So you want to try and keep it as clean, as clear as possible. So I know if I can angle in something like this, I can probably get a really good, really good cut with this. Right? I'm not overlapping anything and uh, it should be able to read it. There's nothing interfering in the back. So let's go ahead and just do a quick one. All I have to do is left click and drag. All right. So imagine you're, you're looking to have these subdivisions, these edge loops running right up here. So we can just go down, or go up it I should say, but it'll get smaller and smaller. Now to show that it's a projection, I can use my middle mouse and, and the uh, Alt key to go ahead and pan it right off. And you can see this has stayed there. It has stayed in the projection mode. It's literally what you're going to turn around and place and move make this real all you have to do is right click once you've got that drawn now as you can see it did a really quick fantastic uh, iteration for the horn now I just have to seal it at the top and of course make connectors uh, down in this middle section right here just so it would connect up which of course isn't very hard at all but as you can see it happened really really quick really really easy if I hit control Z just to undo it I want to show you what happens though when you don't quite do it correctly. Now, usually when I'm going to show something like this, one of the first things students do is they'll draw a line and then they draw another one and another one. I'm not sure if you caught what I just did for all of this, but now if I hit right click it, you can see it's really messed up. It's really wonky it's actually inverting if we turn off the reference you can see how it's actually inverted polygons it's trying to connect vertices to vertices but in a totally convoluted manner it did that because of the way it was drawn when you're going to use the tubes you have to imagine you're building a tube and you're stacking the tube up so you need to make sure that you stay in one direction if you draw from top to bottom then stay top to bottom all the way through alright do something like that and right click it and you're fine or of course you can go from bottom to top something like this and again right click and it makes it real also what you can do uh, I've told my students you don't have to make all the different subdivisions if you don't want what you can do is plan ahead do something like really close for this one piece if you want to do something like that and then do something like that and right click and again now, as you can see this is really really low polygon but the nice thing is, is I can go to the simple edit mode make sure my edges are on you can double click it click connect 
And then of course I can go in and connect. And here, connect. You can do the same up here. We just go in here. There we go, and connect it. And as you can see, it lays, it starts laying them all down for you a whole lot easier. So it just depends. There's a number of different ways you want to be you that you can do this and you can move them around and, and move them as you need to, etc. Let's just go ahead and undo all of this. But you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to get really, really complicated. By the way, I love the number of undos it does. It keeps everything. I love that. Uh, Topo Gun is awesome. It really is. But again, with the tubes, you want to try and, and keep it simple for yourself. Now, if you know that, for instance, for this particular model, if you know you're not going to use a lot of uh, polygons for the horns, they aren't going to be something that are going to be important, we could, in fact, go ahead and drop this down to the 8. And what we could do is just ramp up the number of subdivisions very briefly, something like that. And then, of course, we could blend these pieces together. And this way, you have a face that has higher polygon density and a uh, horn that necessarily doesn't. If you look, if we go in for bridging, in fact, we can just go in right now, really quickly. In fact, uh, do something like this. We'll go and seal that one hole in just a second. And as you can see, we're just blending this all down, connecting it up. Okay, something like that, and there. All right, if I click off the reference, you can see we now have where the face has a lot of polygon density, so that it will support animations, etc. And the horn, less so, because it's likely not going to be that important or that animated, etc. Okay, and then of course we could cap the tops if we need to. Let's go ahead and try a different file. So we can try something a little bit different with the tubes. Okay, so we have a spider, or a type of spider. It was a, some fantasy spider for a game I, I worked on. Obviously, to try and do something like this would be, well, it'd be a little bit of work. Of course, with a, a retopologizer like Topogun, it would actually be done quicker than you might think. However, uh, we're just going to go ahead and look at the, the tubes insofar as working on these legs. Again, if you were to have to do these legs by hand, even if you're only doing one side so you could make it symmetrical and flip it to the other side, boy, it, it'd probably take you a little while. However, with the tubes, of course, we can do something like this, angle it around, get a good angle on this. Say, let's try just try this one leg here. We go for our tubes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 8. And again, I'm going to just draw like we have. I get some fair divisions. You know, it's a little fat here, then it starts to get thinner, so I go ahead and drop one in, and it's a little bigger there. You just kind of have to play with it when you're working on it. If I right click, and there you go. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Uh, I could do the same over here, let's say, for this particular leg. All right. Again, I'm going to draw and I'm going to make sure I stay in the same angle or on the same side, the same drawing from left to right. Okay? Because I don't want to overlap it. I don't want any of those twisties. Okay? So something like that. There you go. Again, I could even do it for this piece right in here. So I'm not worried about the spike that much because I can add that in later on. Something like this. There you go. And of course, then it's just a matter of sealing it right in here, which of course I can use the bridge tool for. Go right on in. Just rotate this around. There we go. It's just a matter of rotating it around. And again, I'm using a combination of the uh, left alt and middle mouse alt to pan and rotate, pan and rotate. Okay. And one right in here. Okay. And in this particular joint, since we know we want to look to have that so it's animatable, I probably just double click it and connect it so it puts a cut in there. 
might even do that again on one of the joints right here and then on probably right in here as well do another connect that's for animation purposes make sure it's going to have some good polygon connection there okay of course I could turn around and now do this section what I might look to do oh and as you can see let's see we've got uh, one piece right in here we can just angle this around a little bit oops let's go for our vertices there we go I've got something right up in here oh it's run right through okay yeah I thought that did that I accidentally moved it and it of course then stretched it way out I wondered why it looked like there's a polygon way down or a vertice way down there okay there we go so now of course I could come in here and just very easily you know make connectors to this we could use the bridge tool again um, after again the tolerance on the bridge tool all goes so far so of course you might have to go in and do a little bit of tweaking with that there we go and I'll rotate this around a little bit more oops there we go and this is one of those that begin uh, again because of its tolerance uh, we might have to look to actually use our the simple create button just hold our control key down to snap from vertice to vertice, which is what I was doing right there. And of course, I've got to do one right off in here. Snap, and then hold down my control and snap. Again, I can now go back in here, go to our edges, double click, and we can go ahead and connect. And then I can grab, oops, let's grab this one instead and connect and again grab this and connect so we've got that set for animation purposes again if I click off the reference you can see that this model will now work this will now that will now bend at that joint and bend at that joint and still have enough polygons to be able to accommodate that from there of course you could turn around and easily create the other three legs you can in fact do these little pinchers with the tubes tool and then of course model the uh, rest of the model with using the different uh, simple create and make the, the torso and the head and everything else once you've got that all done you could easily mirror it over and you're done all right well anyway i hope this has been helpful for you that that's been tubes in topogun my name is stephen g wells and this has been 3dmotive.com thanks for watching